Once upon a time, there was a young man called Luigi Stecco. He was frustrated with all the confusing information around him. He wanted to make it clear and help people the best way he could. After years of processing, in the one course he got the idea. Manu sapiens potens est. Knowledgeable hand is potent. He invented facial manipulation based on many methods such as osteopathy, acupuncture points, meridians and deep friction massage idea of the forgotten tissue and its treatment began to grow bigger and bigger. The logo of the facial manipulation is an image of a spine, shoulder blades and the head. Initials of Logistecco, L and S, are rotated around the vertebrae. Image is inspired by the root of Asclepius from the history of medicine. Journey to the world of facial manipulation will start from the anatomical point of view. At first, we will focus on the fascial layers. Under the skin lays the superficial fascia, which is formed by the woven collagen fibers. These are loosely packed together and mixed with elastic fibers. Under superficial fascia lays deep fascia, which has a composite structure forming two or three layers of parallel bundles of collagen fibers. Each layer is separated from the adjacent one by a thin layer of loose connective tissue. This system allows the layers to slide on one on the other. In the trunk, the layers are formed differently. Muscles are under the deep fascia and they are totally surrounded by it. Fascia manipulation concentrates to the treatment of the deep fascia. Hyaluronic acid helps sliding between layers. If the body develops a compensation which is causing pain or movement dysfunction, the properties of the hyaluronic acid change from gale to salt. Hyaluronic acid forms chain links, which are making the extracellular matrix stiffer. Fascial manipulation targets friction to the fascia, so that cross bridges are changing and the hyaluronic acid transforms back to fluid. Tensional network of the body is formed by the specific points, called center of coordination and center of fusion. Centers of coordination are points where the vectorial forces meet in fascia. They act like a Roman chariot. If one of the horses is pulling too much, the driver has a hard time to handle the chariot and the direction of the movement will change. Or, if the driver is not able to handle the horses, the whole chariot will suffer from that situation. Centers of coordination form lines called sequences. They are like chariots in a parade. Every chariot has their own role and they have to be in line and move in order. This way, the body is forming controlled and efficient movement patterns and it remains pain-free. In fascial manipulation method, lines are called sequences, which are formed by centers of coordination. Diagonals and spirals are formed by centers of fusion, which are responsible of the coordination of the movement. Every sequence has a pair, ante, retro, lateral, medial, extra, intra. Movements in the human body are always three-dimensional. Body is divided into 16 segments. Old anatomical thinking and the biomechanical model doesn't explain the movements of the body. Myofascial unit is the area innervated by motor units, which are controlling the movement in the same direction, for example forward, and the motion. Motor units are gathering the information from the muscles to get the desired movement to happen. Our brain doesn't recognize single muscles. Brains only interpret the movement patterns and changes in the directions. Interview is a very important part of the fascial manipulation treatment. It is guiding the decisions and helping the therapist to decide what to treat. Patient is the center of the interview, not the previous diagnosis nor the previous statements about the problem. The first question to ask is, what is your main problem? After that, the therapist has to find out how and when did it occur. Like a master of disguise, the body is compensating problems long before they will become painful. Therapist has to be precise and ask the right questions. The path has to be clear, one needs to decide which seems to follow and that will define the treatment. Also, painful movements are guiding the treatment protocol. After movement verification, it is time to start palpation and decide which point to treat. Balancing between the sequences is important to get long-lasting effects of the treatment. Treatment can be manifest with knuckles, elbows or fingers. 
Facial manipulation is carried out until the release is felt both by the therapist and the patient. Therapists should think through the superficial fascia to reach the deep fascia and the center of coordination or fusion. Treatment causes the inflammation process, which is taking 48 hours to calm down. Patients may feel sore over to treated points. Pain should reduce or movement disorders should improve about 30 to 80 percent in the first treatment session. Results can be analyzed with visual analog scale or movement, which were tested in the beginning of the treatment. Facial manipulation method is taught all over the world. Also, Lucy Stecco's children, Carla and Antonio Stecco, are familiar with the method and the whole family is developing the method further.